Hello guys, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to take you all to Pichavaram, which is the world's second largest mango forest. So actually most of you don't know, but in India, we have both first and second largest mango forest. So let's start the video. So as you can see here, this is Pichavaram. So guys, before we start the video, you can see the inner side of the dense mangrove forest. So this is how it looks. So like I already told you that it is the second largest mangrove forest after Sundarban. Pichavaram is located in Kudalo district in Tamil Nadu, South India. So if you want to go here, you can either book your cab or you can go by railway station also. So the nearest railway station is Chidambaram. So from there you can hire any vehicle and you can go by road. So this is the very beautiful scenario of mangrove forest. So you can see there the houses from there we started towards the mangrove forest. A few meters into the backwater and there you reach the mangroves that looks like a gateway into the forest. So you can see here the beautiful scenario of mangrove forest deep inside. In this video you can see so many fishes swimming very nicely. So when we were going towards the mangrove forest we saw so many fishes swimming so we thought to take video and show you guys. And these fishes which I told you which you can see also in the video are very are quite big there are more than 400 water routes available for boating so let's talk about the best time to visit so the best time to visit this place is between november to february as we all know that uh, South India and especially uh, Tamil Nadu will be very hot during summer time. So it will be very ideal time for you to visit this place during November to February. So let me tell you this information, the boating activities are operated by the Tamil Nadu Tourism Development Corporation and also Tamil Nadu Forest Department. But of course you can get their local and non-governmental boatmen. And there are various packages depending on number of people. Boat type and number of hours. So here I'm sharing you the uh, price of boats so the boat timing is from morning 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the evening but I will advise you guys not to have this boat ride in the afternoon because it will be definitely very hot so if you do either in the morning time or up to 11 o'clock or in the evening time you can get the best views and at the same time you can enjoy the boat ride but if you do in the afternoon it will be a little bit hot but as I told you, if you visit this place from November to February, then any time is ideal for you guys to have a nice boat ride in this mangrove forest. So what is Pichavaram very special for? So the Pichavaram forest not only offers waterscape and backwater cruises, but also another very rare site, the mangrove forest trees, and permanently rooted in a very few feet of water. While having this ride, you can frequently hear birds singing and their voices. And even the boatmen said that there are crocodiles also, but definitely we didn't see that. So the main attraction in Pichavaram is the mangrove forest and the boat ride. The forest is spread over 1100 hectares and finally it joins the Bay of Bengal where it is separated by a lengthy sandbank and the boatmen don't know Hindi and they speak broken English so but it's not a problem you can definitely manage with that and they're very kind people 
and even you can negotiate the amount with them. So if you live in Chennai and if you want to visit this place, the distance is 242 km and it will take around 5.5 hours. But if you are in Pondicherry, it's a very good news for you because it is just 77 kilometers and it takes two and a half hours from Pondicherry to drive all the way to Pichavaram through National Highway 37. So some of you may think that why the mangrove trees have uh, the roots above the surface. So this necessitates mangrove root system to take up oxygen from the atmosphere. For this purpose, mangrove species have specialized above ground roots and it is also called breathing roots or pneumatophores. So the dry sticks which you are seeing there, they are the breathing roots of this mangrove tree. So when we went deep inside the mangrove forest and we requested the boatman to stop the boat for a time so that we can take some pictures and uh, you can see here we are nicely enjoying touching the roots and then taking pictures and even videos. So here together with us you can enjoy the beauty of this mangrove tree. So you can see here very nicely the roots are coming out. For so many people they may feel like it is normal uh, just boating ride and all. But just for your information I am telling you that the, all the sticks, dry sticks which you see here together with the plants and together with the tree. It is not just a stem or a stick but these are the roots of the trees. So that's why these roots makes this forest very special. Because normally for other trees the roots are uh, below the surface, land surface, below the soil. But the mangrove trees roots are above the surface. So that makes this mangrove tree very special. And another very important reason is that with their roots submerged in water, mangrove trees thrive in hot, muddy and salty conditions that would quickly kill most plants. So you can see this mangrove tree only in hot, muddy and salty conditions. So because of that, uh, you can see the mangrove trees in this muddy area and the roots are coming out to take oxygen and to survive. And I encourage you all to visit this place at least once in your lifetime. Because people from abroad, from foreign and so many places, they know the importance of this mangrove forest and they come to India to visit uh, mangrove forest. Some go to Sundarban which is the largest mangrove forest and some comes to Pichavaram which is in Tamil Nadu. So we being an Indian, we hardly have heard about it or we have not explored these places. But it is very nearby and uh, you can just take one day trip to Pondicherry and while returning you can visit this place or if you are in Pondicherry or any nearby places then you can just have a weekend and you can visit with your families and enjoy this nature. So I hope you like this video 
Thank you so much guys for watching. So see you guys with the next Pondicherry trip video.